Look, I've been sipping too much activist. Got rap money in the mattresses. The whole team got straps in this. Just the way of life. You better play it right or pay the price. Being famous won't save your life. I bet you Kenny won't slip. Boy, I spent plenty on wrist. And I still poke Kenny on a look. I spent some time with your bra. Then I got a sign from the Lord. Told my nigga, keep a nine in your car. Seeing demons in my life that me misleading. What's going on, y'all? Another episode back again with the leak. And um, I'm here today with uh, a guy that I kind of look up to in a, in a way. You know, we kind of the same height and everything. But like, I still kind of look up to him in a way because I'm mean, being the point guard that you are, being the, the Allen Iverson esque guy that I see in you. I mean, Ray Taylor, man. What's going on? It's good, man. Appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Um, let's let's bring it all the way back to like when we started. Like I know we started and you're a very athletic person. Yeah. You, I know basketball wasn't the only thing either. You want to play other sports too. Like right? growing up in Miami, you gotta play football. I mean, that's how you get the love. Nah, I feel you. Sports. I feel you. Yeah. So I grew up really playing football. Okay. Um, that was basically that was the first love. Yeah, that was my first love because it got me.
see what they can do with that. And they can actually go and put pieces together. Like, I need a point guard, so they can only they can go get a scholarship from one point guard. You know what I'm saying? Like, how did they, how did they come get you? I mean, actually, the story of how I got to play is really fun. I was actually going to play to play football. Like, Luke set it up. I had a uh, meeting with the JV coach at, at um, Pace. And he was just trying to give me, like, the run around. And the basketball coach had heard, because I told him to play both. And the basketball coach had heard that I was trying to get to school. So he got my mother's number called my mother, like, y'all heard me trying to get to school. She was like, yeah, but the football coach said, he like, don't worry about nothing. The basketball coach just really got everything done. So that's when you first got on the court, did you think? No, not got on the court. That's, first, that's when the first, like, organized together and football was done after that. I mean, that's when I stopped playing football. Like I said, I was playing basketball. Simultaneously. Simultaneously, yeah. Like, I, like at nine years old, me and Kenny Gordon, we playing basketball together for the A, for our AA team. We had a coach named Abby Ward with a Go Coach Heat. We used to practice on it at South Grove High School, actually. So, like that's I said, I was a team breakdown. Yeah. But that, I mean, that, they didn't start yet. Nah, team breakdown started, but it was older, older than us. Okay. Okay. I, I didn't play football. We played against Pinecrest at Lowe. We actually never beat them. The school had never beat Pinecrest in basketball. It was a real big thing. Um, but before the game, we had a tournament. That same day? No. Like, the, the, like two or three days before, we had a tournament in Central Florida somewhere. And Kenny got two texts. And the high school rule was me two texts. You should spit me. Come the next game. And he had sprained his ankle. So we were really like, no, no. We can not even try to play. He got hurt ankle plus. Might be suspended. Uh, the high school had to like, move your way again. So he set out that game. Everybody really kind of stuck. Like, oh, Katie Ray Brandon, that was the high Katie Ray Brandon. This was our senior year, too. This was after Eloy left, so we don't even have Eloy to bring it to the event. So, so it's just y'all two really in the home. It's just me and Kenny on the team and, and, and a couple. We had good support cast, but as far as people talking about it, it was just people talking about me and Kenny and then talking about Brandon and Ed Wade. And, all those guys over at Pinecrest, but I just, that whole week, I just went in Gerard, and I knew Kenny was playing. Like, we didn't say it out loud, because they were still trying to find out if there was a way he could play, but I knew he wasn't playing, so I went extra hard for him. The basket was just real big. I guess I was like 29 or 31 points, but the real magnificent thing was that we won, and that's what made it great. And like, to this day, that's the only time that me and Kenny together on the same team with me. Like, even though we were on the same court at the same time, we, he was still on that team. He encouraged me a lot that game. He gave me a lot of confidence that game. Like, I was shooting shots that I probably wouldn't have shot if I didn't have him. Like, yo, they beat me. Oh, you was pretty like, wild, honestly. Well, no, like, looking at some tapes, like, we was shooting from, like, half court, maybe. Or maybe close to half court. Like, we was, like, where, matter of fact, where did that Not in the game like that, though. Not in, not, okay. Like, not, not, not in that game. That's maybe not, not in that game. game. That game. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Devastated, I would have been 
had savings. I don't feel like we would have lost. But, but in if if we would have lost, I don't think she would have been able to hurt that I would have had. So she didn't even help me play in that game. A lot of people bash me for it. Like, I read blogs and grown men. But you was there. Nah, I didn't even go to the game. Like, my, my mother didn't allow me to go to the game. After school, she dropped me off somewhere. I didn't go home. She dropped me off somewhere else. She told me she'd come pick me up after the game was over to ensure that, because she knew that I would probably try to sneak out and go play. So she really made sure that I did not play in that game. But like I said, while our game going on, I watched the game. Kenny had like 44 points. They ended up blowing us out, but I was real hurt, because me or Eagle didn't play. And we did, and the reason why I didn't play, because some people in our background was telling us that it would hurt pace financially, because they were the ones putting up for it to be the ESPN. Out. It was supposed to be at home. Crazy. <laughs> um, and yeah, so I didn't have a plan. Now, speeding it up just a little bit. End of high school, going to college. Got a lot of prospects looking at you. What made you go to FAU? Um, the talk that I had with Jarvis, like I talked to a lot of coaches. And it all seemed like game. Jarvis really felt like, like I, I felt like he genuinely needed me. Okay. Like I felt like other programs just wanted me, but Jarvis really made it seem like this program needed me. And um, basically, he had this, he had good success with the short guard, you know, Shante Rogers. He was five four that played for Jarvis. Actually, at, um, at George Washington, in the early nineties, I think. So I felt like, and I felt like I had a little more skill with Shante. He could do that with Shante, like the sky's the limit to how he could be better than me. So, I talked to, talk to him, and I actually committed him on my birthday. I told him 27, I called him, like, yo, it's my birthday, I'm at a high right now. Let's call, I mean, I'm committing. Verbally, it's done, it's getting good. So, that was that. that, was that. Going into that, going into that you know, lifestyle, um, I, showed up. I didn't know what to expect, so that summer, I worked relentlessly. I was, I made, I, was, I tried to be first in every sprint. I tried to be first in everything, because that's all I knew was to work. That's what I knew. I didn't know what was gonna happen. I didn't know what to expect with it. I didn't know how college people play. So I just, all I knew was that I could give my F, 100% effort in what I was doing to prepare for the season. Okay, how was so, the first game? The first game of college was actually nervous for the first two minutes. But after that, it was great. I almost had a trip. I think I had like 17 points, 10 assists, first game, like seven or eight rebounds. And then I mean, after, that, after that game, I was like, okay. I worked hard, right? so I had, I had a lot of confidence. And then, like, I had me and Jarvis, actually, our relationship was at its best. So we could talk about problems and get through it and all of that. So that, 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 that first, first couple games of my freshman year actually gave me hope in the game of basketball. Like, all right, I know I was going to be special. But now I think I can be special at it. Now it's a whole different sport, and I'm in both and this and this whole place that not even nobody cares about basketball already. Exactly. And like I saw, like because I was there for nothing, like, I, I came and me being in Miami, I came to games the year before. I saw the crowd, and I've seen the crowd every time I'm coming now. Before the warm ups, I look at the crowd it's a certain way. Warm ups over, I look at the crowd a certain way. And I was new to the game, first time out, me and Greg can't look at each other like, yo, when all where other people come from, like. This is crazy, so, and that just kept me. But like I said, that freshman year, I felt like it went so good, and I worked so hard that summer, that I realized I was working harder than everybody else, so that next summer, I took time.